In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria read, write, order and compare percentages in whole numbers. You can locate the questions on the massmass.com website under level 1. The questions come from different exam boards. We normally start with non-calculated questions and then we move to calculated questions. However, for this topic, at this level, there doesn't seem to be any questions within the non-calculated papers. So we're going to dive straight into the calculated questions. Here is the first question. Which of the following list is in increasing order from smallest to largest? So increasing means going up from the smallest to the largest. So we've got 52%, 53%, 50% and 55%. So the higher the number, the higher the percentage. It's just like looking at numbers like 53 is greater than 52. So 53% is greater than 52% of a shape or a number. So comparing these four, 50 is the smallest. Then we have 52, then 53, then 55. So where is that happening? In which row? We've got 50, 52, 53, 55. So B is the correct option. The rest of them don't work. The table below shows interest rates from five different banks. We've got Bank A with 4.72%. Bank B with 4.07%, Bank C with 4.726%, Bank D with 4.672%, Bank E with 4.76%. So again, we're going to look for the highest decimal. Is it 4.72? Is it 4.07? Is it 4.726? 4.672? Or 4.7? Six. So they all begin with four point something. So that means we've got to focus now on the first digit after the decimal point to decide which one offers the highest interest rate. So there we have a seven zero seven six seven. Seven is the highest out of the three, so that means we've got to focus on the sevens only. So for these decimals that have 4.7 something, we got to look now at the second digit after the decimal point. So there we have 2, there we have 2, and we have 6. 6 is greater than 2, so that means 4.76 is the highest decimal out of them all. So that is bank E. And this is the end of the questions.